It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll see the Colts' rocket arm quarterback. He's coming off a nice week throwing the ball. Four touchdown throws. It's the Colts and the Bengals on Sunday night. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Once again, they run with Mixon. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The Bengals sitting at a very solid 4-2 and two record through the first six weeks. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. Eight yards to go on second down. Inside handoff to Mixon. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Go, so as go. the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Oh, look at the juke. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And now a low liner. I think he mishit him. Well, pretty woeful there. Just 23 yards on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here. First and 10. Here comes Jim. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Here we go, here we go. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it. Get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. That's going to be caught by Ali Cox. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. So simple partner, keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it facing a second and long situation. After the penalty, it's Mixon. And down he'll go at the 25. Naturally so, the defense was keyed in on everyone but the back on that play. And it took them an extra second to react when he got the carry. It's still a tough third down to pick up here, but a lot more manageable after an excellent carry on second down. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. Quitty Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, 
Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So here are the Colts to take over. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On one, right? First down, here's Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. Hey, we're going, we're going. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. And some room to maneuver. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage go, was off go. a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 15-yard line. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to end up incomplete. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Burrow. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Got a man, it's Chase. He completes it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but go. enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. To throw once more on second and ten. Burrow. That's going to be brought in by Higgins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They will throw on first down with Burrow. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there. And it'll be second down. Right, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, go, some completions. Go. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Burrow once again here on second and 10. He will find his man Chase complete. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts' 32-yard line. Let's just lean on the word good here, partner. Good way to start the second half. Good safe throw and a good quick first down as well. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was the Jets who were able to come away with the win at home. Zach Wilson, four touchdown passes, in the victory. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. Saquon Barkley, two touchdown runs to lead the way. And one more to highlight, a good one on Monday Night Football between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos. 
On now to a look at the next-gen stats for the Colts in that first half. And a big part of their success on the scoreboard is their success in the running game. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they didn't have quite the same kind of success running the football. But still, not bad for one half of play. Both these teams getting a chance to dry out. Maybe change their cleats if need be. But halftime's just about over. Time to get back to it. And for the call of the second half, here's Brandon God. All right, coach. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taken from about the 12. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter. Mixon will get it to start the second half. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. A couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Open man is chase complete. And he's going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off the play fake, Jacob. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for that flag. It comes out there for pass interference. And what do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this crowd here tonight. What they're hoping now is to build a little momentum off of it and give them a more genuine reason to cheer down the road. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Again, it's Mixon. And there to stop him, Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Holding. Offense. That's on the guard, Alex Kappa. Still second down. Come up now on a second and long after the hold. Evans running straight ahead. No gain on the play this time, but it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. So on fourth down, on is Evan McPherson in the Bengal field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And that'll be off the cross. 
crossbar and out. It's short. He couldn't get it there. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Well, he had that one. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they've forced in this runaway contest. They'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And now, as with every potential turnover, we're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again. Jacob. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 13-yard line. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. They'll let Mixon try and run it in. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now Jonathan Taylor and the Colts offense retakes center stage. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back 
Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't fight for going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, it's Taylor. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And, CD, you look at this defense. You know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level. And sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play a perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too far, instead of just letting it rip. And I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Taylor. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. This is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Bengals take over first and 10. So now the Bengals down by two touchdowns. At time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing to start the drive. Jacob. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. Oh, yeah. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Back to throw again. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. So with just under 40 seconds to go, you figure this is going to need to bounce their way if they have any shot.
And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They run once more with Taylor. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 167 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. And they take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, oh, how happy are that? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So for the Colts, they run their mark to 6-2 and two on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three so far. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. 